<laughs> I just wanted to make sure I'm safe. <laughs> Sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. Marcus. Okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting when I press continue. It jumps me right back into like the next chapter or, or where I left off. Um, but hello everybody <laughs> and welcome to this new episode of Detroit Become Human. <laughs> So, it's been some time since I last released an episode of Detroit Become Human, <laughs> but I'm happy to be back and I'm excited to see how the rest of this is going to progress because now we have Marcus um, pretty much imitating to be human, which is great. <laughs> you can't even tell he's an android unless like you do the telltale signs of an android um, or testing. I'm assuming like electromagnetic waves or whatever or like anything to discolorize the camouflage skin and all that stuff, you know? So um, it's going to be very interesting to see how Marcus is going to survive being among humans and not being seen as an android. So uh, that's going to be very interesting. <laughs> uh, but Kara is out as well. She escaped with Alice. They are gone and free. I have to rebuild this relationship with um, Lieutenant Anderson. Guys, Connor, we, we have Connor 2.0 <laughs> with him. And I got to fix that relationship. And it's just a whole like mess of things. But I'm excited to see... Uh, what else this story has in store for us <laughs> all right let's go in and check that symbol interesting very interesting symbol look for the graffiti that's what that looks like okay one more time so it's ingrained in my brain okay Oh, I found it. <laughs> okay, that was easy. <laughs> they missed you. I'm surprised. Did your nurse change? Apparently she did. I don't have money, I'm sorry. I know. It's crazy, right? But he said hey mister, so he recognizes us. Well, at least they're making music. Can you make music? Hmm. All right, then it wants us to go here, but he acknowledges as a person, this homeless guy. He acknowledged us. Right there, that is a symbol. Interesting. It updated. Find that graffiti. Okay, so a lion. Interesting. This is so cool. Okay, so we are on a hunt for this. That only androids can do, I'm, I'm assuming. I want to go down the escalator. Ooh, escalator! <laughs> When's the ride? This is the ride! <laughs> if you know that reference, I will love you forever. <laughs> All right, lion. Oh, I found it.
Can 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 I talk to you? Ooh, ooh, talk, talk, talk. Do you know where Jericho is? No. Alrighty, let's analyze. That's one. Oh, two. Clue updated. Okay, that looks like. Wait. Wait, that looks like an alleyway almost. There's a fence. Is that the same fence we jumped with Kara? I wonder. But, okay, it looks like it's gonna be a fence with colors on it. And I see it already across. Can I go inside? No, I can't. Okay. Need work, needs help. God bless. It is crazy how we're not that far from a world like this, though, to be honest. Oh, wait, no, 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 don't walk, don't walk. You gotta wait. Okay, now we can walk. Before I get, like, run over by a car. Because <laughs> the last thing I need is to get hit by a car, get up, and then people are like, Oh my god, it's an android, where's your thing? Excuse me, excuse me, I am one of you. I am definitely human. <gasps> this is the place, I think. Yeah, this is... Yeah, I think. Interesting, this making me go this way. I mean, I, I did go too far. I think. It's this. It's okay. No, no, it's this one. It's this one. Yeah, it's this one. There it is. There we go. Where is the other symbol? There you go. Clue updated. Oh, I already found that one. The robots. Let's go find the robots. Hey man, can you help me out? Uh oh, duh, there. <laughs> I was looking for it. I was like, hello. Oh, there goes two. This is cool. I like this little wild goose chase we're doing. Where is the third one? Uh. Oh, there it is. Right? That's it right there. Okay, there's something blocking it. You can't let people really see you, like, manhandle that. All right, there we go. Oh. There we go. Right, now we can scan it. Right, okay. Interesting. Oh, I found it. There we go. That's the first symbol. Where? Oh my god, I actually did not see that. Wow. That blended in so much. I 
can't go any further. Where's where's the third symbol? Is it going to be on here? No. Okay. Find a way to reach. What do you mean? Find a way to reach the roof. How am I going to get in the roof? Okay, then. Um. Oh, oh, this, 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 this. We can use this. Right? Yes, no. Maybe so. Marcus, please. Please, Marcus. Please, Marcus. Can I use this? Ugh, okay. Because I would have used that to... There it is! Okay, yeah! Thank you! Move it! I knew it! See, I had... Okay, I was on the right track. Okay. I was about to say... Big brain. I'm on. I'm on the. I'm on a. Okay. Oh yes. Ooh. Ooh. We love somebody athletic. Oh, and there goes the last one. Sparkle. I think that says sparkle. You grab the jumping, Marcus. Yeah. Yeah. You got this. You got this. You got this. Use a right stick to, to select. Right, damn. Interesting. Uh. Okay, but that is too. Too unstable. Okay. Um. What are the other routes? I'm trying to look for another route. <laughs> is there anything else? Like, is there another route? Okay. Okay. Thank. Thank you. Thank you. God. I swore I hover over there. Oh, nice. Okay, let's execute that. Ooh. Oh, nice. Very smooth. Let me not fall. <laughs> very, very smooth, Marcus. Very smooth. What was a graffiti? Oh, that's right. Sparkle, sparkle. We do not see a sparkle here. Aha! Sparkle City. There we go. I already see two symbols. One. And then there goes two. And where's the third one? Oh, hello, symbol. Where are you? Interesting. Okay. Oh. Right. Okay. Where's the third symbol? Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay. There you go. Inside a building somewhere. Looks like this building. Recon- What are we got? Okay, Marcus, what crazy shit are you gonna do? What is this? Maybe going on the ledge is safer. Yeah.
would be too high. Okay. Um, how about here? There we go. Perfect. Oh, let's go, Marcus. Oh, yes, we love an athletic man. <laughs> Dude, I would kill to be that athletic, I swear. One day. One day. Oh, yes. That kind of made Marcus like 10 times hotter, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. This, this is it. Oh my god. Okay, we are getting close to whatever it is that we're trying to find. I want to say this is it. Yeah, it's this. Okay, um... Oh, I see, I see, I see it. I'm supposed to be at a specific angle for it, I think. At least I think. That's what I think. Right here. Something like that, right? Yep, that was right. There we go. Okay, so it's through here. Let's take this debris away. Let's shimmy our way through. Jericho. Ooh, ooh, that said Jericho on the wall. Jericho. Symbols found. Okay, reach the boat. Interesting. Oh my god! Marcus, we are gonna find a different way. <laughs> Nothing's ever easy, right? Of course it's not. Nothing's ever straightforward. Oh my god. Oh, he has no fear, right? He practically died, so what's dying again? Oh my god, please. I don't know, like, I want to say I don't have an, a fear of heights, I just... I don't like high places because then I constantly think of the chances of falling, and then that spooks me. Like, it's not the fear of heights like oh my god i'm paralyzed with fear like i'll walk it but it's just more of like i'm i overthink <laughs> on the situation and always like imagine you know what happens if you just plop down or slip off or something like that like i don't know i have very intrusive thoughts <laughs> when i'm in high places are we gonna dive Marcus?
right, okay. He did that flawlessly, casual. 10 out of 10, sexy. <laughs> All right, Marcus, let's go, let's do this. Ooh. Ooh, flashlight. Nice. Interesting. Okay, nothing behind here. How is this an android paradise? This looks more like an android dump. <laughs> this looks like a dump. Uh, yes, I will find my android charger in this place, that's for sure. See, that looks like progressing. Okay, that's locked. Oh, I can't open that. I gotta go this way. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't know I was playing a scary game. <laughs> a spooky scary game. Interesting, okay. How about you? Nope, locked. Um... Okay, I thought I heard like weird voices or something. Ooh, Detroit Today. <gasps> that is a- that looks exactly like Kara. Android on the run- it is Kara, okay! <laughs> I like how I say that before reading the title. Android on the run. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. With miles of unspoiled nature, Canada is the true land of the free. President warned to make state visit to United Kingdom. You see, with Kara gone, I'm pretty sure if, um, cause a lot of you guys actually mentioned that I could have uh, grabbed the gun and shoot Todd instead. I wonder if that would have changed the story on Kara. It could have been like, you know, like murderous android on the run or something like that, or or killer android on the run or something. Anyway, so what is on the next one? Ooh, tech attic. Android astronauts to explore IO. NASA sends android crew into space. Hackers target solar panels for latest ransom scam. Ooh. Interesting. I wonder what it says about Kara. Android on the run. Runway machine causes panic in Camden. Residents in the Detroit suburb of Camden were witness to a thrilling chase today after a police manhunt, including roadblocks and dozens of police interviews, flushed out a felony fugitive. But this is a fugitive fugitive with a difference. The suspect is an android. The rogue AX400 model is thought to be suffering from an extremely rare malfunction and took extreme measures extreme measures to avoid police, even dashing across a busy highway to avoid pursuing officers. Eyewitness statements are inconclusive and with no official report, it's impossible to say for sure what really happened. But local news correspondents are looking into the case at this very moment. No CyberLife spokesperson was available for comment and the speculation looks set to continue. No, Kara just got herself a consciousness. That's what happened. She became self-aware and realized that she is more than just ones and zeros as she should okay, as she should think sorry i like pause there for a moment because <laughs> i just wanted to make sure i'm safe <laughs> why does this always happen to me 
every time when I think I'm safe or I say I'm safe, something happens. Why does this happen to me all the time? <laughs> Right. Dude. I mean, obviously... Obviously, this is... Obviously, it's an android. 100% it's an android. But, God. <laughs> None of these doors open. There's nothing there? Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, let's just go. Can you... Okay, Marcus. There, there, there. <laughs> Fine, Marcus. We're good. You got this, Marcus. Marcus, run! Marcus, run! M Marcus! I mean, thank God you're an android, but oh my God. Jericho. We shot you, though. We shot you, though. Wh what? What? Why? We shot him, though. I missed one little interaction. Oh, oh, two, two, two. Oh, well. <laughs> that's fine but oh my god meet the people of jericho interesting but we shot him though what unless that's a different model that looks like him we got rid of him i thought but hello lieutenant anderson well you kind of ran ran out on the road Reconcile? Usual. Hey, how you doing, Hank? Hey, listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five in the third. Lickety split. Now, Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flutter? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Let's scan. Uh, uh. Sure. Lieutenant Anderson, born nine six eighty-five. Police lieutenant, criminal record none. Okay, cool. What else am I scanning for, Connor? Okay, there we go. Ooh, Abdar Pedro. Born 125 to 2005, unemployed, criminal record, illegal gambling, fraud. Interesting. Anything else? Ooh, you. Hello. Case Gary. 12 3 1988, business owner, criminal record, resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulation. Hygiene regulations. I mean, if it was like one little tiny roach on the side of the road, that's not your fault. <laughs> Anything else that I can scan? Because the scan is being very finicky today. 
I was thinking the TV or something. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. You shouldn't have done it, Hank. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Uh. Apologize? I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. As if Cyberlife thought everything, huh? At least it got him up, so that's good. <laughs> there you go. Uh oh, oh, I'm gonna scan. What is this? Ooh, hamburger, yes. Six, 1,680 calories. Holy shit, bro. That's your whole day's worth. How, how many calories is a soda? Let me, let me scan the soda. Let me scan the soda. Uh -huh. Thanks, Gary. I'm starting. I'll leave that thing here. It wouldn't uh, let me scan the soda. Follows me everywhere. See? Cholesterol company, enjoy your meal. Oh, gambling. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. Okay. Um. Company. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Okay. Uh, highway? This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. <laughs> And I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. All right, uh, deviants. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. True. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> uh, Hank and androids, maybe? Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Okay. I don't want to mention Connor. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell okay. No. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? <laughs> Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they f***ed up. <laughs> You ever dealt with deviants before? <laughs> oh god. Yes. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Uh... Lie. I'm focused on the case, Lieutenant. The rest doesn't concern me. Damn it! Oh! Okay. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. 
I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. I was doing so good. Okay, okay, okay. I thought focusing on the case and not like being so personal, too, too personal with him. Okay. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No, I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? <sighs> Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. All right, analyze. Hey, were you really making a report? Yes, I was, Hank. All right, feathers. Back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Wish I could do that. Right? That's so cool. Alright, let's go. I analyzed. That was feathers, right? I wasn't paying attention. Um, <laughs> feathers, yeah. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. See, I think Hank likes robots, because if he didn't, or Andrews, because if, 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 if he didn't, he wouldn't tell Connor to stay behind him. Because he would have commanded him to break the door down or something. All right, all right, all right, all right, we got this, we got this. Um. Oh my God. What the fuck is this? Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. Ooh, pigeons everywhere. Oh my God. Well, uh, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. What is this? military jacket secondhand initials RT? RT, probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket. That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. He said to never do the sample shit ever again. So let's just take it. Ooh. LED bio. Oh, no, it's deactivated. It's LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. He didn't see us do it, so there's that blue bud. Ooh, there goes a the RA9 thing again. RA9, RA9. Which I have officially um, de de deciphered RA9, Rose Android 9, <laughs> the best in the line. <laughs> Any idea what it means? RA9, written 2,471 times. Oh my god. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Interesting. Pa obsessive compulsive writing. Interesting, okay. Oh, oh. What is this? Wooden stool recently disturbed traces of avian fecal matter. Okay. Anything else of interest? Oh, what is this? Opened marker pen, still wet, used recently. Interesting. Is 
So they were writing on the wall. Suspect was here recently. Yeah, they were they were writing on the wall. They fell because we knocked on the door saying it's it's, it's a police. Suspect ran to the living room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're writing on the walls. They ran into the living room. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, so many pigeons. Jeez. Hello. <laughs> I like how he just swaps it away. Suspect cares for wild animals. Interesting. If I have to do another interrogation procedure, I swear. Driver's license, fake ID. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Can we check the fridge? Oh, of course we can. Empty. Suspect doesn't eat. So there's that. It's an android. Real books. I thought I was the last guy to try to keep some. That's crazy. They don't have real books anymore. Interesting. Skid mark. Recent. Tra traces of galvanized steel. Ooh, prints. But how? Finger marks recent. Traces of fecal matter. No fingerprints. Oh, they're finger marks, but no prints. Metal hook, recently broken, 100% stainless steel. So he probably ran into the cage then by mistake. That's what happened. Suspect ran towards, towards the entrance. Yeah, he ran, hit the cage, ran towards the entrance, heard us go inside, uh-huh. Suspect is still here. Yeah. Electronic books, you can't smell the paper. See the pages turning yellow. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? I mean, sorry, Hank. Birds. A little bit of lag. That job was actually these fuckers. Well, at least Hank is enjoying himself investigating. I already figured it out. <laughs> All right, let's go. I found you. Oh. God damn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! 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 This baby. Oh, this is so cool. I don't know how to pick. This one balanced. Safer detour. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The reckless slow faster would be safer detour. Safer detour. Okay. 
This is so cool. Ooh. Almost missed that. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Look at me go, Hank. <laughs> Be proud of me, Hank. concentrated because I don't want to mess up. Let's do this. Let's do this. Dark but quiet. Dark but quiet. Look out. Oh, this motherfucker. Oh my god, I can't see shit. <laughs> fault i should have been faster you'd have caught it if it weren't for me that's all right we know what it looks like we'll find it it's all good <sighs> that 89 percent could have been disastrous nothing oh you know you wanted to say thank you hank you know you wanted to say thank you <laughs> okay okay relationship building that was cool that was so cool <sighs> i was kind of holding my breath though because i didn't want to mess up like i literally had the mental in my mind of each button and then i'm like okay i'm good and i kept one finger on on a and i'm like okay as long as i have my finger on a i'm good and then all the other ones i had like a mental note of and then just you know because no matter how many times you've played it on a controller there's always been times where like you accidentally pressed the wrong button so I, like usually in quick sequences like that I make like a mental image in my head and I have that present as I play and then I have to be very focused like I can't talk or anything like I have to be like really focused so I don't mess up and <laughs> that was so cool that was so much fun okay but we got Hank on our good side like I thought Hank would have hated us because we let it go away but then at the same time it's like I don't want to risk that 89%. And then I want to also save Hank because he's important, you know, like he's our partner. So, and I want to build that relationship with him. And I'm glad that was the choice. I'm glad, I'm glad that was a good choice. Who are you? Fugitives, just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Uh, uh, Android? How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. Free. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. Trail. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. Place where we can be free. Find Jericho. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. But okay, direct. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. 
You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Yeah, but all you have to do is take the, the thingy off. And then you're good. Oh, hello. Okay, you don't talk, all right? And you don't talk, and you don't talk, all right? Okay. Um, what happens if I start a fire? Interesting. But you guys don't feel like any... I mean, you guys don't have... I'm assuming that they don't feel any heat or things like that, but... Okay. I've heard humans are afraid of dying, too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Is so sad. Oh, my God. That is not an Android kid. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Interesting. So they need to have a constant supply of the blue blood. Much like how humans were constantly resupplying our, um, our blood cells, essentially. You know, like we eat food, things like that, and our blood cells replenish themselves. It's the same concept. They need to replenish their blood cells in order... They're humans! Ow! A androids are humans! These androids are humans. They are humans. <laughs> literal, literal humans. They're all humans. Literal humans. They're humans. I don't care what you say. These androids are humans. These guys are humans. There is, there is no way. These guys are humans. 100%. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, 11 hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Interesting. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I got too personal. Okay. Wrong question. You came here for comfort. You came to the wrong place. All right, then. I'm sorry. 
we are not going to get along. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> I'm sure she's she's a nice person, but still, like, I don't know. Oh, hello. Can I talk to you? No? Okay. I'm over here lighting up all of these things. I'm gonna light all of the fires. I'm making it my mission. Is there any more? Oh, hello. Not in very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I, I don't want to shut down. That's terrible! Oh my god! Dude! I thought this was gonna be like a uh, paradise or something. Not a place to slowly die. I'm over here like about to cry. <laughs> and I totally didn't just rhyme. <laughs> oh my god! Right, so you are what we're supposed to talk to. Oh my god. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Interesting. She is hooked up to so many wires. All right, let's sit down. Show me. Show you what? What are we showing you? Marcus, don't show her anything. Ooh, ooh, oh. Ow. I'll stop the bleeding. He doesn't feel pain, so that's cool. Oh, thank you. Drink this. But other people need it more than I do. Okay, Give then. me your hand. Interesting. Ooh, she's going into our memories. You had it all. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Interesting. Are we going to be the savior of, of everybody? <laughs> All right, looks like we got more exploring to do, but I think this is a good point to stop. <laughs> so, ooh, we did a lot of exciting things this episode, especially that chase scene with Connor. I really enjoyed that, but I'm really excited that we improved our relationship with Hank. That that made me really happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, 
we're gonna explore all of Jericho with Marcus. That's gonna be really exciting. And uh, I'm really wondering if Marcus is gonna be like the leader. And and I'm I'm, I'm calling it. We're gonna be the leader. Marcus is gonna be the leader of the in inhabitants of Jericho. And we're either going to start a a android revolution or we're going to find a way to assimilate with the humans <laughs> you know of uh, find a way to integrate with them and um make it so that it's you know flawlessly like seamlessly so that they can't ever figure out that we're actually androids so i wonder if that's gonna be the case that's gonna be really cool but i kind of want to be on the anarchy side you know just start a rebellion that'd be so cool but we'll see we'll see because marcus he did have it all but i mean screw screw the son that put him in this situation so i'm leading towards the anarchy side <laughs> as long as it can screw him over that'll be great um yeah but we'll find out uh more things in the next episode <laughs> but thank you guys so 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 much for joining me on this crazy episode hope you have an awesome day and i will see you in the next one bye bye -s. Everything's fine We just